Nation. The biggest fear that keeps me up at night is, are we really going to do this? It's a huge game with all these new systems. It's not one thing that makes it hard, it's everything. I guess it's kind of cliche, but I guess that's kind of the, the fun and the challenge of it, too. We don't make it sequentially. We're jumping around from part to part, so we don't really know 100% what it's going to be like until the very end. And sometimes it can be a bit scary. You know, you look at that that end date that's just getting closer and closer. All of our fans love Drake. We don't want to, you know, make our last Drake game and have it not be the best Uncharted game we can make. It's selfish in a way. Like, we want to do the, the fan service and completing everything that everyone else wants to see. The thing is, we are probably some of the biggest fans ourselves. fan's reaction, sometimes even when it's negative, is one of the best perks of the job in that you are able to reach other people and you get to see how much they care. And we get letters sometimes from people that they say like, you know, this has changed my life. Like something in, something shifted in playing that. It's like I learned something. It's like, wow, we did that. We created something that touched people. That inspired them in the way that movies and games and comics have inspired me and the people I work with. And to know that, you know, someday someone is gonna be way better at this and somehow I got them on that path is just overwhelming with like gratitude of, of that I get to do this, that this is my job. And so whenever we see like a, a really cool letter from someone that they email in or we got a a huge scrapbook once of all this different art that someone had put together. That really touches us and, and it we appreciate it on a, on a super deep level. Some of the most fulfilling things you can find in real life are those connections you have with people and those moments of understanding or play. And that's a much rarer thing in a video game. It's far rarer to find your character having a moment with another character that means a lot to you. And I think that just now and again, we just come a little close to reproducing some of that fulfillment and enjoyment that you get from real life characters, from real people. I really hope that people can see the effort that we put in to make the character more alive. When I see those cutscenes coming in, I see that facial animation, just the subtext you can get in these scenes. I've never seen it in Uncharted, I've never seen it in a game. The level of uh, authenticity that our characters are starting to take on honestly has such emotion to it that I'm really proud of us as a studio for putting that out there. And everyone here at Naughty Dog is a storyteller. We have something important to say to the story and help immerse them in the world of you know, Nathan Drake and Elena Fisher. As you play through the series, you do sort of begin to develop a, 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 an affinity for the characters and an understanding of what motivates them. And I hope that this game kind of brings it all to a nice crescendo. I hope people cry when they play it, and I hope that they laugh when they play it. We've always made sure that that's part of our vision, and that's it. It's like we want people to say, once they put it down, be like, I just had a ton of fun. Heads up! I'll take that. Every game, every year has been a, you know, a new thing to learn, a new thing to accomplish. And we're never done, and I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be. <laughs> I hope the whole industry keeps moving forward. Because it has been, there's no slowing down. And this is just another step on that road. There's a lot of memories there. And uh, to leave it behind, it's, it's funny. I'm working on this layout right now with one of the last traversal sequences in the game. And there's this one jump. And every single player that we've watched play test, it stops at the gap and kind of looks and is like questions like, can I make that? It's a pretty big, pretty big jump. And they go for it. And you see Nathan Drake flailing his arms wildly, and Nathan Drake reaches out and he grabs that last handhold, and that's our last epic jump in the Uncharted series. And that to me is like, I'm getting a little choked up. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of memories there.
you know, when you work on a franchise for this long, you become a unit, you become a family. And you could tell that everybody just wanted to make something that was really, really good. See you two made it out okay. Way better than okay. We found the Battaglia. <laughs> I've had a lot of time to reflect on everything that's happened, and I have to be careful not to get too emotional because this has been the greatest opportunity uh, that I've ever had. The journey I have personally had with Elena and with this story has been one of extreme thankfulness and gratitude and growth just as a person and as an actor. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me. And this particular game, right from the beginning, was like being a little kid playing again with your friends. Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky. And it was just such fun to go to work every day. It's been a great ride. I, I, I really enjoyed it, like I say. I'm gonna miss this guy. Ah, uh, just bring me back something shiny, will you? I think the quality of the story really is just this kind of very emotionally satisfying, beautiful denouement to, to the Nathan Drake story. And everything is like you're playing through it. It's not something you're just watching passively. We're using our medium to the fullest. And you're hauling down this alleyway at 40, 60 miles an hour. But you're like, that was awesome. Look at that. That was cool. And that's Naughty Dog. Making video games is our adventure. It's our Uncharted. It's been a perfect blend from the actors and directors on the on the mocap stage to what happens back at the Naughty Dog building when the, the designers and programmers and artists and everybody puts that stuff together. I hope that that can sit on somebody's shelf and they can revisit it years later and go, oh, this was a great series. This was so much fun. I hope more than anything people are entertained. That from the opening shot to that final closing image that you don't want to put the controller down. Pre-order the PS4 bundle.